Evan Legacy here with IFBB Pro Raymond Evans in Pittsburgh at the MPC Photo Gym. We just got done with the workout and we're gonna sit here with Ray and uh, figure out what's going on here in advance of the Arnold. So um, Ray, tell everybody what we have planned over the next few days as we prepare for the contest. Well, um, we fly out tomorrow early to uh, work with Kenny Wallach in Connecticut. Um, you know, just put the final touches on our routine and what's that from Friday to Saturday. And then we come back and do a huge cardio session to get the, to get the deeply going deeply going on Sunday and then uh, we'll be in I'll be in Aerie um, staying with you mm -hmm. and you know just preparing peak week for the Arnold which is coming up Thursday you know we like to have all angles covered so um, I feel like you know in Aerie with you we'll be able to you know hands on eyes on everything and we'll make sure everything's covered Yep. every step of the way so um, definitely the beginning of the week we're going to be together we're going to be on point um, you know continue to work on those final touches that we uh, deliver on with Kenny and, uh, and it's going to be a great Arnold classic and right behind us the legend himself legend. Arnold Schwarzenegger the man so inspired yeah definitely <laughs> definitely so um, so you know tell me a little bit about Ray um, you know what your feelings are going into uh, this Arnold classic uh, your pro debut right now we're nine days out and in my eyes, Ray is in the best shape of his life. He just keeps on getting better. And, um, you know, one thing that you mentioned to me earlier today was, um, you know, getting into your body and feeling better and better about your body as you're approaching a show. And this is something that I'm sure a lot of athletes are going through. Um, and it allows you to connect and pose with more fluidity, if you want to say. So tell me a little bit about that. So me, I find out, um, you know, as, as when you tell me to send you pictures, uh, on your routine and just how you're looking I feel like the further out the, the less confident I am um, the closer we get to it and it's a good thing because you know it's like what they say big players make big time plays in mm -hmm. big games so the closer it gets it's it's like a out-of-body experience I, I I go through um, with posing is more confident more fluent I become the person that I'm supposed to be I know I'm supposed to be mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's it's. I'm I'm very excited. I get I get asked a lot, dude. You're about to do your pro debut at the Arnold Classic. Are you nervous? It's like I'm not. <laughs> I'm excited because I, I know I'm, we'll be prepared. Mm -hmm. um, we take all steps that we need to take. So preparation is everything. So if you're prepared, then you have no reason to be scared. Yeah. So Th that's I'm, absolutely yeah. perfect. No doubt about it. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited. You know, it's a pro debut, but. I feel like I have what it takes to, you know, be up there with guys that have been pros for a while. So, I mean, I respect everyone's physique, but I definitely believe I have what it takes also. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. It's sort of like, you know, you're, you're picturing yourself where your potential is and you're going right after it with your preparation. I think that's been, um, you know, part of everything that you've been able to achieve so far. And I think it's just going to continue. So uh, you mentioned somewhere in there about sending me pictures. So I think, uh, you know, it might be an opportunity for, uh, for you to share with the fans, you know, how you gave me a heart attack the other morning for me, but the night for you. So how about you, 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 you expand into that a little bit? Well, as you see, <laughs> that little nice little piece of art we have on our face right now. Um, yeah. I'm I'm a supervisor for overnight restaurant cleaning company and uh, I'm you know my normal nightly services just moving 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 how I do and um you know taking care of something and I come up and you know we had a little accident <laughs> the funny thing is that I didn't like overreact panicked or anything because I didn't feel anything was broke or feel anything because I hit it really hard but I didn't feel anything irregular I mean I felt a little blub and I'm thinking uh maybe a little cut maybe a you know, internal bleeding under the nostril or something. Yeah. Nothing to freak out. So uh, I continued for about an hour into uh, working, and <laughs> I didn't tell you guys about this. I'm on my way out the door. <laughs> the staff starts coming in, and they're asking me, like, dude, you need any help? <laughs> and I look at I'm like, no, I got this. So as I'm walking to wash my hands, <laughs> I look in the mirror, and I notice I was bleeding. <laughs> so I'm thinking, like, they're probably like, look at this savage. So I sent you the picture at about, what, 3 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. and you know just a up close and personal picture it just dry blood just looked 10 times worse yeah and uh i go yeah, to, yeah. <laughs> so, so at that point i wake up in the morning obviously and i see this picture just a mugshot of ray's face you know blood here cut here and i'm like 
Oh my gosh, the first thing that comes to my mind is like, uh, looks like Ray got jumped. He's probably gonna have bruises coming out in his face. What happened to his body? Um, so I'm, I'm quite worried at this point. And obviously he's sleeping because he was just working the night before. So I sent him a few text messages and- uh, yeah, yeah, very interested and you know, concerned. Yeah, trying to figure to it out. To say the least, because I, I even sent him a message saying, well, what remedy do you have for this by the Arnold? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I woke up to like a barrage of uh, suggestions and remedies and, I woke up after seeing his messages and just was just dying and just yeah, laughing, yeah. man, because I know his I knew his concern. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but we definitely had a protocol. Yeah, we did. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah. Right on, right on. So um you know, one other thing that uh, that keeps on coming up because I've been getting some stuff on social media as well, just in relation to you. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are asking you a lot of questions right now. So, um, you know, what is what seems to be the standout question? Like, what what topic do people want to get into the most? Well, you know, every um, in the gym on social media and whatever, um, people tend to ask, "Can you write me a diet?" And mm. it's like. Mm. Mm. The infamous diet question. Infamous diet question. It's, it's. I mean, everyone has goals, and initially, I'm, I'm, I'm responding because I want to help. I mean, mm-hmm. I love inspiring people. I love helping people. That's the reason why I'm in the fitness industry, mm-hmm. um, and a part of an amazing organization, the IFBB and NPC. Um, but it's such a shallow question when it comes to, can you write me a diet? Because there's so many steps and um, processes to getting to the goals that you should have. So, I mean, if you want a diet, you can go on Google and get any cooking cut of diet that you want. Right. But you have to make assessments and other protocols. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I say the same thing all the time. It's, um, you know, whenever I'm posed this question, it's, well, number one, we got to look at what your goals are, what your outcomes are, um, because you're going to be different than me. And what works for me isn't necessarily going to be good for you. And on top of that, you know, once you start a diet, you know, there's things that need to change over time, you know, based upon how your body's responding, because who knows if that diet is right for you or right for you. It might be right for you now, but who says that it's going to be right for you in six weeks from now? So, um, so yeah, it's a, it's a tough question to, to answer, um, you know, easily anyway, but, um, hopefully as time goes on, people start to understand more and more about their bodies and, you know, what you're talking about in terms of helping people. I see you do it all the time. Like you're increasing people's awareness about themselves, you know, when you pose questions back. So, so big on you for that. I think that's really good, really good for the public and the industry, uh, you know, all together. Definitely help you. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's all about. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the self awareness is huge. Um, so you know, that's why I'm, I'm able to identify within myself what things I need to do. So, but it's because I have the goals in mind and I'm aware of what's going on in my body also. So that's huge right there for anyone that's mm-hmm. you know with any dieting, uh, training, etc. Self awareness is huge. Yeah, that's. I, mean, I think we were laying. We often use the term keystone. It's the center of everything. It's that foundation. So if you can put together that keystone, you know, and to, to build everything on that, then you're always going to find yourself progressing. And in progression, you know, mind, body, and soul, you're going to make it happen. Yes, sir, anything's possible. Yeah. So I'm um, getting into the workout a little bit. So um, today was a chest focused day. We, uh, we threw the shoulders into it a little bit um, just to tie things in, but we were focusing a lot on contractions, um, you know, and getting into higher volume ranges as well. Um, as a lot of you guys see in this video, Ray has an incredible chest. Um, his development is unbelievable actually. And uh, you're gonna be seeing it on the Arnold stage. Um, but uh, you know, Ray, talk about, you know, your energy levels through the workout. Um, you're used to consuming a lot of carbs you're not consuming as many right now though they're still relatively high at times um you know getting into how you felt and you know physically where you're at right now um right now at this point in time uh you know closer to the arnold it's all mental um you just have to dig deep and you know when you want to quit don't um because you know it's it's up to you how you're going to uh you know make these uh steps to get in where you want to get so you could use excuses. Oh, coach, I need some more carbs. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah. let's go. Not from Ray Edmonds. I don't know if we have to bleep this out, but when uh, when I ask Ray how is he feeling, does it you know does he need anything? He's like, coach, you know me. You know, tell me to drink dog piss and I'm in. <laughs> yeah, it's whatever. I mean, he knows. Um, you got to have what it takes. You got to be willing to do things you the normal person won't do to yeah. you know to achieve those goals. So. Whatever I have, that's the and that's the relationship we have. You know, yeah. it's the trust in one another. You trust that 
I'm going to carry out what you suggest, and I trust that you're going to, you know, tell yeah. me the Whatever protocol of what I got to okay. do. So. Yeah. 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 Perfect right there, man. So um, I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, please come see us at the, uh, the Arnold Classic. Um, you know, check out Ray. He's going to be on stage Saturday. It's going to be an incredible event. It's probably going to be the biggest Arnold Classic yet. This is, uh, there's a lot of changes right now happening with the NPC and the IFBB. And I suggest anybody within the region, anybody who can get there, if you're hanging on your hat right now, n about to go, just make it happen, make it go. Happen. It's going to be a huge, huge event. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I want to say thank you to the NPC, IFBB, the Mannions here at their gym, um, and Ray Edmonds, IFBB Pro, is coming at you in a few days. See you at the Arnold.